We're set for our next adventure. We're in the Lake District of the northwest of England. For this adventure, we're going to go walking with wolves. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Dee. Hi. Nice to meet Pleased you. To meet How you. are you doing? Pleased to meet you. So these are the guys? They yes. Are. This is uh, uh, Maska and Kajika, and they're um, what's called an FV Timberwolf hybrid. Hey, they're gorgeous. <laughs> they're big. They're quite tall when they go on a high leg. How wild are these wolves? Well, these these particular two, they're they're hybrids, and by hybridising a wolf um, and breeding a little bit of dog into them, uh, it's said that you've undone ten thousand years of domesticity from 14,000 years of a domesticated wow. dog. And so they do display very natural uh, behavior. However, um, with the hybrid within them, um, they, they are more stable of nature, which allows us to do what we do with, with members of the public and guests. Why aren't there wolves like this in Britain anymore? Well, wolves have been persecuted for, for centuries throughout, not just in this country, but throughout the world. And there's been many sort of myths, legends, uh, and, and cultures that su have surrounded wolves. But because largely, because they're an apex predator in the wild, um, they're, they've been persecuted in this country, largely due to conflict with livestock and farmers, and also trophy hunters. Excuse me, can they hurt each other doing that? No. They don't. It might look, it really looks like they would, doesn't it? But they they've got lots so. of thick fur, lots of okay. uh, loose skin, and, uh, and they don't actually hurt each other. So the purpose of this adventure, Seb, was to yeah. come and try and walk with wolves and see what it would look like to explore the Lake District like a wolf. Well, How do you think they see it differently to us? For a starter, we definitely don't use our teeth and we don't fight each other as much as they do. Walking with wolves. Adventure complete.